Hello and welcome to another great deck tech here at Chuckwagon MTG. Today we are looking at Fire Angels. It's our latest standard deck. Uh, revolves around a couple of new additions from Throne of Eldraine, but it's a new take on a on an old combo that uh, came out earlier in standard. But let's get through it. The first card I want to bring up is Fires of Invention. Uh, so Fires of Invention, for three and a red, you can cast spells only during your turn, and you can cast no more than two spells, but that doesn't really matter because uh, you can cast spells with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control without paying their mana costs. So what this e effectively does is it doubles up your mana, which you're going to need. So this deck just doesn't take off right out of the gate. It uh, It's a little bit of a slow roll to, to you get to... Uh, turn four, turn five, and then it starts to take off. Uh, once once you get past turn five, uh, you can generally take over the game board after that. But uh, So I'm going to talk about these cards as they relate to Fires of Invention and how they work well together uh, with some other ideas um, inserted here. So uh, the first card I want to talk about that works really well with Fires of Invention is Bag of Holding. So Bag of Holding, uh, for one colorless or one yeah one colorless uh, whenever you discard a card exile that card from your graveyard um, and you can pay for tap this sacrifice bag of holding and then return all those exiled cards back to your hand so you pay two tap it draw a card discard a card that discarded card goes into your bag of holding the reason this works so well with fires of invention is because uh, all those cards that are exiled when you crack the bag of holding with fires of invention out, you can still cast two of those spells uh, without paying their mana cost, even if you've tapped out for that uh, sacrifice bag of holding. Uh, so it's a fantastic combination for card draw. Additionally, I'm not, you know, duress, thought erasure, those types of cards. I'm, I'm not a huge, you know, I don't like to be on the receiving end of those. So you turn one bag of holding, they thought erasure you on turn two, and or they duress you, uh, that discarded card goes into your bag of holding, you can pick it up later, so you don't really lose anything. Um, but this really helps uh, sort through uh, your cards to get to your win condition, because you really want to hit your land drops, you want to get your fires of invention out on turn four, and you want to start putting your other spells into play. Um, so... Another, the next card I want to talk about as far as interactions go is Dawn of Hope. So what I love about Dawn of Hope and Fires of Invention is you can cast Dawn of Hope without paying its mana cost, and then you can immediately activate it to create a creature token. Um, great for a chump blocker, but in the overall picture, uh, this works good in the early game or the late game. Uh, Let's jump to Outlaw's Merriment. So Outlaw's Merriment, this is new from uh, Throne of Eldraine. For one, a red, and two, white. At the beginning of your upkeep, uh, you can choose one of these at random, or they get cho it gets chosen at random. Uh, you create a red and white creature token with these characters. So you either get a 3-1 Human Warrior with Trample and Haste. You get a 2-1 two, two, Human Cleric with Life Link and Haste. You get a 1-2 Human Rogue with Haste that whenever this creature enters the battlefield, deals 1 damage to any target. So any one of those works well uh, in the game by itself. But when you pair this with Divine Visitation, instead of getting one of those tokens, you get a 4-4 White Angel. Um, and what I, what I love about how this works with Fires of Invention, say you're up on turn 4, you drop your Fires of Invention and you can immediately drop your Outlaw's Merriment. So you're spending eight mana um, with only four lands out. It's it's a really quick turnaround. And like I said, this deck doesn't take off at a sprint. It kind of strolls slowly towards the you know towards that turn four, turn five game. Uh, when then you get divine visitation on turn five, and you can start this churn. Now, divine visitation. Uh, what works great with this one is, of course, Bishop of Wings. Every time an angel comes into play, you gain four life, which will help make up some of the uh, the uh, headway that you lost in the early game. 
Uh, you can make it up really quickly. And then whenever an angel dies, you create a 1-1 one, one spirit creature token. But with divine visitation out, that token becomes a 4-4 four, four angel, which in turn get, gains you 4 life. So when you have Bishop of Wings out and divine visitation, you can chump block large creatures. It'll kill your, if they kill your angel, that's fine. You'll gain 4 life and it'll immediately replace itself. You put two bishops, Bishop of Wings, Bishops of Wings, Bishop of Wings, two Bishop of Wings out, and it'll create two tokens. So you double, you know, you gain eight life, you get two tokens. So it, that's a great combo on its own. Uh, also, with Dawn of Hope out, uh, every 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token uh, is a 4-4 four, four angel if you have Divine Visitation. So it's a powerful deck. Like I said, it doesn't take off. It doesn't go fast in the early game, but turn four, turn five, it really starts to take over the board. You, you start chump blocking with these angels, you gain life, they all have vigilance, so when you attack in, you're not, you're not tapping down your creatures, they can stay up as blockers. Uh, so for, for early game, you need to get to this win condition. How are you going to do it? Like I said, bag of holding is good, but charming prince... Uh, you know, you got a bunch of angels, you might as well have a charming prince around to help. So you're going to use this to scry and a chump block most of the time. Uh, you may use it for some life gain later on, but we're not relying on that. We really want to get it, you know, turn two, scry, set up that turn four that you want. And we also have pacifism. So if they get a creature out early, you want to block it, or you want to get it to where it's not attacking in, save your life total. Uh, pacifism, you can enchant that creature, it can't attack or block. Uh, prison Realm, for either planeswalkers or creatures, it'll exile them, but what's great about this is it also gives you that scry, so you're digging, digging, digging for that win condition. Um, for additional card draw, uh, Thrill of Possibility, this works, like I say, works great with Bag of Holding, because you're discarding a card, so you don't, if you have, you know, some decent cards that you want to keep, uh, you can still discard them into your bag of holding and pick them up later. But you can draw two cards off this. And it's at instant speed, which I, I really like. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? I think, so that's the main part of the deck. Let's go through the lands. There are two Castle Ardenvale in here. These create tokens, kind of as a last-ditch effort. Say they, you know, you still have your Divine Visitation out, and they've smoked your Outlaw's Merriment, uh, your Fires of Invention. You can still make a 4-4 angel with just this land and a divine visitation. Uh, we have seven plains, eight mountains, three sacred foundries. You could bump that up to four sacred foundries. That's fine. Um, and, and go down on one of your mountains. And then Temple of Triumph. Um, like I said, we're trying to get to our win condition, so you get this Temple of Triumph out. It comes in taps, but you get to scry. So uh, all in all, I think... This, this deck has a lot of potential to take off. Uh, once you hit that turn four, it's, it turns into a lot of fun. So that's the deck. Let's jump into a quick game to see how this plays. All right, playing some Fire Angels. This is good. We have a bag of holding, some scrying. I think this is good. We get to go first. Let's change the color of our fox to purple, the color of testing. That's, I don't know if that's true. Our opponent, Senor Bob, is thinking bag of holding. Dress me all you want. But our turn two scry two is, is just going to be clutch right here. And our turn two or turn three scry two is going to be clutch as well. I think we're, oh wow, and I guess our turn four scry two. Scrying. Um, hmm. I think. We really need, you know what, I'll keep that on top. Yeah, 
Uh, that's a tough one. I'll keep that on top, just in case we need our we need to get our outlaws merriment out. I think we can draw into more stuff with our bag of holding. Okay, I think we'll be okay with this one though. All right, let's find fires of invention pacification. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I think we can I think we can work with that. I'm gonna attack in. No fear. So next next turn we can fire zone invention and outlaws merriment. And then we have that uh, pacifism. We keep calling it pacification, but it's pacifism. Um, yeah pacifism just in case they have a like an angel of vitality <laughs> all right so let's fires let's outlaws merriment and now the engine has started I think we just swing in And what's great is um, this this only triggers when another another creature dies. So with pacifism, this won't die. It'll just sit there. One damage. Let's just go to the face. All right. So we're going to pacifism you, and I, I think here you're gonna you're gonna see the awesomeness of this fires of invention and oh, mm -hmm. it does not stop you from casting spells. Yeah, no. We want more. Yeah, we're just going to swing at you. Or I guess we're going to Charming Prince them out of the game. They're like, which do I destroy? Do I destroy your card draw? Do I destroy your fires of invention? Or do I destroy your outlaws merriment? I don't know, the card draw would be tempting, but Outlaws Merriment is just even if you board wipe, you get to recreate your, your board state. Yeah. But we got our card draw. So I'm going to go ahead and draw. Oh, yeah. Putting you away. And see, this is great. See, we only have two lands untapped. Fires of Invention lets us sally forth. Of course, the, the the charming prince victory isn't isn't how this is supposed to work. But hey, if it ain't broke, I think they're gonna mortify another one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So their deck's getting to where it's gonna take off. They've kind of got their engine set up with creatures entering the battlefield and creatures dying. Yeah. Just going to keep pinging them in the face. Hmm. 
So let's draw. Yeah, that doesn't help. I think I'm going to just play this because keep these back as chump blockers. I'm okay with one of these one of these guys dying, but they have to block at least two of them. Really gonna need our flyers. Mortif or despart. Okay. So we can get if we get a divine visitation, that would be awesome, but we did not. Let's see if we can draw into something. Wow. Let's scry. Uh, do we get rid of the card draw? Um, I think we keep it. So we really need our flyers out here. Wow, look at that. Yeah, we really need to fly over them. Let's see. Chomp. Um. Do we want to pacify? I think. Hmm. I think the card draw is more important. And you're climbing out of the cellar. Let's just chump block one. Okay. Come on, there we go. That's what we need. Ooh. So we'll keep, so we have to keep up. Yeah, we have just enough to make a white, white. Let's, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and play that. Uh, yeah, we have just enough. I mean, they're going to gain a bunch of life, but I think in the end, what do we have in here? Yeah, just every land. So let's... They're going to just drain us for a lot. And then we can do this because we can crack Bag of Holding. Okay. Cool. Gl actually glad to get that off the top. Nah, it doesn't do us any good, but... Wow. Okay. At least we can get in and start getting in for some damage. So really when they swing in, I think we have to let them pass. 
Yeah. That will do... Hmm. Less damage. Let's just make a token. Let's see, they're doing three damage and they're gaining three life. This will do four damage. But their pride mate will get huge. Uh, let's just kill them both. Three and three, that'll do six damage to us. Right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we got to get those off the battlefield or we die next turn. Let's see if my math is correct. Oh, my math was wrong. Oh, this is what we're hoping for. Oh, yeah. Now it's on. So now, um, yeah, so now, uh, we don't have, like, we don't have to worry about killing anything. We just, we can let our, t our tokens die. Okay. So let's make we don't need G right now. And we'll just chunk block. So I think the play here is to get the small creatures off the battlefield. We don't need another Dawn of Hope. Yeah, I think that'll leave up. Okay, I mean, we're shuffling through the deck. I think we get rid of that alleviates we don't need another ton of hope yeah I guess we're gonna attack him with both we're just barely scraping by in this one okay I think we got it next turn. And we, we scraped our way to a victory, but not the sexiest victory, but it is a victory. All right, playing some fire angels. This deck is just good magic. It's just a lot of fun. Moving to the appropriate purple color. Bag of holding, turn one. Who could ask for more? Maybe a scry would be good, but bag of holding. Makes me warm inside. And a charming prince to back it up. I'm going to be scrying all day long oh they're scrying too yeah let's see if we can find one of our token generators i mean we have the land which is pretty nice uh ooh. so we have four lands 
I'm going to keep that prison realm on top because I have a sneaking suspicion it'll come in handy. And we got pacifism, pacifism. Yep, look at our hand. They're like, what kind of garbage do you have in your hand? Wow. It's the best kind of garbage. Yep. Uh, let's ditch you. Bag of holding. Holding a bag of my cards. Rubble, rubble. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus X, plus X. Well, I have a sneaking suspicion. Let's scry. No, we don't need all the lands. And let's pacify that guy. Scry. This is such a beat down card too. I have a feeling we're gonna lose lose to uh, what's that protection from blue. Um, let's put you out. Let's pacify you because you don't have protection from white. Oh, I think we can ditch one of our. Prism Realms. I mean, I'll probably regret it later, but I like having these two in my hand because it gives you the uh, the token and it with with this land This enchantment and this creature you can gain four life and then you get that um, Oh, He's gonna shifting ceratops me in the face It's a beat down deck Better find something good. Okay, okay. Fires of invention. I can handle this. So I th think we have to get uh, get that shifting ceratops off the battlefield, and we don't need any more lands. So t next turn. So this is how fast this can act. Next turn, we'll cast these two without paying their mana cost. Uh oh, double. That would have been awful. Pay these without paying their mana, or get these two out without paying their mana cost, and then immediately make a token. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna, you know what, I can do it at instant speed. So I'm just gonna wait. Let's just see what happens. And we're okay with them beating down our, our angel tokens. Let's do one. Gain four life. And hopefully they don't wreck my... Oh, it's fine if they destroy my angel. Because I plan on chump blocking with it. And it gains us four more life. And replaces itself. Yep. So every time they attack in, we're gaining four life. No, they're probably like, oh snap, I gotta kill something. And it has Vigilance. I mean, how good is that? Now we can block with it. We can attack with it. So I think we just hold what we have. They're probably wondering. And what's cool is you don't... Nihid. You don't really have to worry about 
See what see watch is. Let's make another one. Oh, I thought they were gonna attack in, but I think they're realizing real quick that it's a losing battle for them. So so you just keep attacking. Even if they have reach, it's okay if they die. In fact, you kind of want them to just hit your angels and kill them because um, I... Mm, okay. Because they'll just keep replacing themselves. Hopefully they don't roll into any uh, enchantment removal, which would be sad, but we're okay with that. So they really want to kill that Bishop of Wings. Uh, three damage. Okay. That was interesting. But now we're going to get boom, boom. I guess they, they needed the lifelink. Until you get Bishop of Wings off the battlefield, this is just going to keep going. Yeah, I think they didn't have have enchantment removal readily available, but all right, playing fire angels. All right, couldn't ask for a better start. Turn one bag of holding, changing to purple, petting the fox thing creature. Yep. Yeah, we like you. Hmm. Oh, you know, I love putting pacifism on the amass token, so it just sits there and drinks their life. But... So I think... Yeah, let's just do this. So I think what we do is Um, do we pay two life and get our, yeah, let's get our Merriman out there. I, I don't think they have any kind of enchant removal. But we can get, you know, we have some backup here. There's our fires. And let's, I think we get, let's Charming Prince, because we can chump. Let's Charming Prince. Let's grind. There's our pacifism.
See this with Dreadhorde Invasion, you have to get this before it hits six. Now, yeah. now yeah, they might have some enchantment removal, so I'm just gonna jump here. So we're going to kind of clear their their board a little bit. Ooh, theater of horrors. So let's pacifism on you. Let's prison realm on you. Scry into something. No. I need something cool. Let's get him for a little damage. And we can always... Yeah, they're like, which enchantment do we destroy? They're all awesome. I mean, token generator, token generator. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> okay, maybe they just wanted to... Poking them in the eye. Don't need you. Hmm. At least we'll get a draw trigger off this when we chump block. Mm-hmm. No, oh, ill-gotten inheritance. That's a good one. You have to be careful not to get down to four, four life. Jeez. I think we just attack with all. Hmm. Yeah. I like their deck. It's 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 a little janky, you know. It's got, it's got personality. Like, right, what do we kill? What do we kill next? Let's see what they got. That's it. Second theater of horrors. Right, they got to keep their blocker up. So we're searching. Desperately for our so many dawns of hope. Jeez, so at least we can make a make a token. Oh, 
or we can gain line. And we can draw. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, I think we just hold it there. We got to keep gaining life because ill-gotten inheritance can surprise, you know, do some damage to you surprisingly fast. So they're now oh, they're just drawing into lands. I hope they don't have a some, some enchantment removal on their side. Okay, they get rid of our card draw. I don't know why. Oh, that was the artifact. We're just going to keep poking them in the eye until we get our... Uh, really? Come on, give us that... I don't need any more of that. I mean, second D Dawn of Hope, get that second trigger for um, lifelink. Maybe. And it's great. See, this is another interaction. Dawn of Hope, Fires of Invention, you, could, you can spend your mana drawing these cards. And then you can... And now you get the two draw triggers. Wow. I guess we can get you out and scry into something beautiful. Do we ditch that? I mean, I don't think they have enchantment room. I think they would have used it already. If they can get that pacifism. Why so many lands? Look at all these triggers. Oh, that didn't look good. Oh, Ley Line of the Void. Death Sprout. Oh no, they're going to destroy my Bishop of Wings. Maybe. But we're okay with that. We're on the. We're just doing token stuff right now. Yeah, it's a good call. I think they were prepared for a different fight. And that's the one something I really like about the um this deck is that most most people aren't prepared for it. Wow. That is okay. Yeah, we just we ground them out really slowly. All right, playing some Fire Angels, and this is this is decent. We've got stuff to do in the early game. I'm going to keep this and get my bag of holding out there on turn one, which makes me happy. Oh, now we're looking good. Now we are looking good. Look at this. Donna Hope, Divine Visitation, and a Bishop of Wings. Shh. It's like... Um, let's get you out next. I want to be able either to respond with Donna Hope. So we're on Grixis. Okay, we're going to hold up Prison Realm because I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to see some Nicol Bolas up in this Mamma Jamma. And, and I like me some Nicol Bolas, but he can, he, we don't have any legendary. Any, okay, yeah, duress me. Duress me. He's probably going to hit this Prison Realm. No? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love Bag of Holding. They're like wondering, oh, snap. It did nothing. 
I get it back. Aw. <laughs> Worth it. I'm gonna just make a token. I will be happy to leave. Oh, they're one of those dif disinformation campaign decks where they keep, get, you know. I don't care. I make tokens. I'm going to make tokens all day long. Yeah. Well, we are going to... I think since that just goes back in the deck, um, yeah, I'll play you, get our value. Yeah, we're not, we're not drawing. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Fire, angels, fire. Oh, uh, this is an okay keep. Ugh. Opponent does go first, so we're on the draw. It's sketchy keep, but we can. We have scry and we have scry. So if we can't scry into something decent, that's an even better turn zero move. Okay, that's it's starting to look a little bit better. Oh, do we keep? Do we not keep? I, uh, you know what? We need lands. We're not playing any magic unless we get our lands. So there's four of those fires of invention in the, in the deck. Grove chamber guardian. Crud bucket. I'm gonna pay two life, and I'm gonna scry and put a chump blocker in play. Um. We have, yeah, we have one, so I'm going to just, you know, we got to get our lands, and I can pacify things if I need to. Mortal. Oh, I'm going to pacify you, because you deserve to be pacified. And it's, it can grow all at once. Let's get that fourth land. See what happens. Yeah. It's the growth chamber boogie. Uh, I think we'll just chomp block. That's what you're there for. Thank you, charming prince. You've been most charming. Hmm. So, what to do, what to do? Snipes. I think. Yeah, sorry, Bishop of Wings. Wow. And he's back. I think we're going to need him. Because we're going to take a lot of damage in the... In the meantime, oh snap, questing beast. That's gonna just hurt. Hmm. There is just no good way out of this. It's like I'm digging for gold here yeah we got the three turn clock or you know if he has another questing beast a two turn clock oh, and a great hinge and another turn that's big but he can't adapt it seems odd 
Wow, we're just dead on the next turn. I think we got no no recourse. Good game. All right, fire angels. Fire. Fire. Oh, sketchy keep. Opponent goes first. Let's do it. No fear. Changing to purple. Uh oh, life gain. This could go pretty fast. Let's get you out there. Flyers. Yep. All the flyers. This is gonna... Let's... Stop your life gain. For now, so next turn, okay, yeah, that's coming out, or maybe not. Maybe they negate. Yeah. Wah, wah. Well, I get one point of damage against you. The only thing you can do when you play against control is just play through. Yeah. They're going to be punching us in the face. Four lots. Tons. Are we on a two turn clock now? Yeah. That was one. Let's slow our demise slightly. Probably should have attacked in there. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's over. All right, let's light a fire under this. Let's do this. I can, ooh, <laughs> this one's weird. All right, at least we can scry, right? We'll be scrying all day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep you, because I, Arena sometimes comes out to get me, and uh, let's scry with our, what are you doing, there you go, with our Charming Prince, that's good to keep. Oh man, this is going to get ugly fast. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nah, we need we need something. We're going to be so far behind. Um Let's get rid of you.
At least we have a way to dig ourselves out of the hole. This lucky clover is seriously no joke. <laughs> yeah. They're, I mean, they can mill us to death with this one. Oh, two lucky clovers. <laughs> Oh, why do I feel like, yeah, we're going to get milled into nothingness? That's like a ridiculous amount of cards. That's eight, 12. Wow. Wow. Yeah, let's just, I mean, what else can we do? There's not much else we can do, right? We just gotta play through. They're just gonna be milling the snot out of us, so we're not gonna have anything left. 12, 12 cards for every one of those, it's just ugly. And... Desperately attacking. I don't think we're gonna make it. That's we got what two more Oh, that's kind of rad Look at all these Big old chump blockers. Yeah, get them out there. Get them all out there. Line them up. Jeez. That's it. We're not going to make it. <laughs> Yeah, we are not going to make it. We're down to 11. Wow, and we're just... Uh, I think... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else we can do except to get these things out of the way. I'm going to say good game because I don't think we're going to survive this. Down to six cards, four cards. Here it comes. If they, hopefully they draw a land and we can eke our way out of this. Draw a land, please. <laughs> we got three cards left. Uh, at least we get an, an angel. Coming down to the wire. <laughs> Coming down to the wire. It's all on this turn. What do they draw? If they draw land, we win. Oh, lucky clover. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the skin of our teeth. Dang, we were down to the last two cards in our library. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. They, that, the Lucky Clovers. Whew. Mill is no joke.
We didn't even see a Fires of Invention last game, so. All right, we've got Bag of Holding, some Scry. I think, I think this is a good shifting to purple. Card draw. They can duress us. Discard. Uh, let's Charming Prince. Hopefully they're mono black. All right, we got all all the ingredients of something beautiful. All the ingredients. So, okay, yeah. All right, so individual removal. We got this. So we'll get our Outlaws Merriman out next. Oh, fire. Look at that. So well timed. So well timed. All enchantments. <laughs> and no response to enchantments. Okay. All right, come on, Fire Angels. Give me what you got. Give me what you got. What do we got here? Dawn of Hope, Pass for the You know what? This isn't isn't the prettiest hand, but the opponent goes first, so let me give the lucky fox creature a pet, and they duress us turn one. <laughs> okay, you... Yeah, I like you on top because I don't know what's coming. I mean, we have so much pacifism here, but all we need is four lands. I mean, I'm a, there's probably like a Liliana or something here at the end. We can save our prison realm for that. Who knows? Maybe they have a second color in here. Okay, there's our lands. Let's get our Dawn of Hope out. Mono black. We're okay with mono black. Yeah. We can fight that all day long. Wow, all, all the pacifisms. Literally, we drew all of them. Okay, so they would rather have that in their graveyard. That indicates to me that they have some sort of Something to dread. <laughs> they want creatures out there. There are creatures in the graveyard. Um, hmm. So I think we pacify. I think we... I think I'm... Hmm. So at least we can make a token, right? We can make a token. Which they'll use removal on, but we're fine if they want to use every bit of their removal on 1-1 one, one tokens. Well, there's our bag. I think we need to get our bag out. Um, should we prison realm? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think we can prison round because we need the scry. No, I don't need you. They want to use their removal on a 1-1 one -one token. I'm more than happy to. I can make another one. Oh. Trying to drain us. It's fine. Wow. Oh, good. So, little card draw never hurt anybody. Well, unless it's that kind of card draw. Don't need you. Getting all the lands. Ha ha ha. God bless you. Now I think we just get a second one out there for card draw. So we can make a token. Food. Blocking. I think they want a bunch of creatures in the graveyard so they can... I will give them another creature in the graveyard. Wow. So I'm going to try to draw into something awesome. We don't lose our Dawn of Hope because it goes into the bag. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. Now you join us at the turning of the tide. Right? Okay, they want to kill our guy, but we're fine with that. You know why? We're making angels. Lots of them. Angel. Boom. Um, don't need that. Scry. Don't need that. Done. Vigilance. Shields up. Yep. Three or less from the graveyard. What are they going to bring back? One of these doohickeys? I don't even care. I will kill everything. And that's that. Uh, 
So folks, that's how the deck works. I hope you like it. Let me know how it plays for you, changes you'd make, uh, things you do different. Uh, but if you like what you saw, please uh, subscribe, hit that like button, share this, share this, share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, your pets, because everyone can use a little more magic in their lives. Thank you for visiting Chuckwagon MTG today. Uh, we appreciate it. Hit the bell notification uh, to, to find out all the latest deck techs that we do that are just a little strange. Thanks.